Welcome to this Bureau IT video. This week we want to talk about SharePoint. Now this is, t is a tool that's been around for what, over 10 years and is underutilized by most businesses. One of the reasons why is lack of knowledge in the product. But other reasons is where the IT departments are not pushing the product to its fullest potential within the business. For example, in Office 365, SharePoint is used as a document library. Think of the shared filing area for all your company documents. What used to be on a server locally is now in the cloud. Another area is libraries such as picture galleries it could be um, linking towards kpis from another system and it could also be linking to what's called as lists so the basic type of list would be a shopping list that we know you know a member of your family just provides you can you go and get this from the shop now the next type is utilizing lists as either a calendar appointment it could be uh, contact details it could be links and telephone numbers for suppliers um, in case you need to raise a support request with your third party you got all the information so bring this number option three then option two um, here's our account information um, so that you can get past the next stage of raising a support request we would say if you haven't checked out lists in SharePoint give them a go um, because there is some benefits and a use case that we can put to you right now is one of your colleagues has a list of contacts for your suppliers, uh, who the account manager is, what their telephone number is, what your account number is with that company. They might have that in their account, email account. Now, as soon as they leave, that information is still in their email account and nobody else knows that information. Would it not be a better idea to store the details in a SharePoint list and so that no matter which member of the team needs to see it, they all have access to that information. And with the SharePoint search, you can search for documents, lists and other type of libraries from one search location. This used to be an enterprise feature back in 2010 but has been made for the masses so that you can utilize this in a number of use cases. So if you want to know more about lists and libraries and even SharePoint Contact us on the details below and please subscribe for future videos from the team. Thanks for watching and have a great day.